domestic daydreams cleaning routine versus the fly lady cleaning routine. Which routine is better for you and what's the difference between the two? Well, that's what we're covering today. <laughs> Hi domestic darlings, I'm Cheyenne Bullock. I run the blog, YouTube, and Instagram, Domestic Daydreams, where my goal is to help you transform your home into the safe haven for those that you love, whether you're a working, stay at home, or single gal who just wants to find the joy in homemaking again. Well, many of you have probably heard of the Fly Lady system, and while you may know that I have my own cleaning method and system that I use and have information on, it may not be the routine for you. And my goal isn't to sell you a routine, but to help you find the best systems to transform your home into a safe place to land for the people that you care about most. All right, I'll quit chattering and get down to the nitty gritty, starting with Fly Lady versus Domestic, the routines. First up, Fly Lady. She is a routine that has every day three routines that you can go through. I think one is optional. Morning, afternoon, and evening routines. Now, how does this compare to domestic daydreams? Well, domestic daydreams, there's a morning routine, an optional evening routine, weekly tasks, and a zone system. The weekly tasks and the zone system are built into the morning routine, so they're not additional tasks. Fly Lady's routine has a morning routine with six tasks, an afternoon routine with four tasks, an evening routine with six tasks, but sometimes there's more or less depending with weekly tasks and a zone system. Her weekly tasks and zone system are also built into one of those three routines, but if you just do the morning and the evening, you might miss out on one of those tasks. But what about the weekly tasks? Well, let's get into what the weekly tasks are for each routine, starting with Fly Lady. Now, Fly Lady also has assigned tasks for every day of the week that she wants to be like your focus for that day. Those are Monday Weekly Home Blessing, which we'll talk about a little bit more as well as talking about more about the zone system and what hotspots are here in a minute. Tuesday is Plan and Play Day. This is where you do all of your planning, mark stuff on your calendar, make sure that everything's up to date, and then she also wants you to plan something fun for yourself, whether it's something small and delightful that you like to do, like watching a favorite television show that day, or planning an outing with friends. She recommends that you do that every Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's Anti-Procrastination Day, and this is the day where she recommends that you pick something that you have been putting off and not wanting to do, and you do it on that day. Thursday is errand day where she recommends that you do any of your grocery shopping, any of the errands that you need to run, that you schedule it all for that day so you can get it out of the way and you know in advance that you most likely will only have to worry about that one day a week. And then Friday is car and purse day where you clean out your car and your purse to keep the nastiness and grime and clutter and random trash from building up. Now, what is weekly home blessing hour? Well, every Monday you do a weekly home blessing or weekly home blessing hour. And this is where you set your timer for one hour and as quickly as possible, you go through and complete certain tasks. She recommends that you vacuum, mop, dust, change the sheets, empty garbages, polish mirrors and doors as part of your weekly home blessing hour. And all of this you're just supposed to accomplish once a week in that hour and then you're done. Comparing this to the domestic daydreams routine. So domestic daydreams weekly tasks are Monday, 15 minutes spent cleaning in your zone, Tuesday, bathrooms, Wednesday, cleaning out the fridge, Thursday, dusting, Friday, vacuuming and mopping, and Saturday, 15 minutes in your zone again. Now, Fly Lady's weekly tasks are all different and they're not built into the routine. So you have to add them on as an additional task. Something that Fly Lady's routine includes that Domestic Daydreams doesn't include is an anti-procrastination day, which can act similar to Clean Mama's um, catch-all day, where you're able to do the things that you've been putting off or that you didn't get to. She also has a specific day for errands, specific days for cleaning out your car and your purse, and for planning. Something else different is she requires a weekly home blessing hour where you spend an hour doing a lot of the cleaning stuff that's built into the weekly tasks already in Domestic Daydreams. All right, let's break down the pros and cons of each routine. Overall, Domestic Daydreams has less tasks, totaling about six, with some of those tasks repeating if you do the evening routine, whereas Fly Lady has 16 to 20 plus tasks, depending on what weekly tasks you have that day. Weekly and monthly tasks are included in the morning routine with Domestic Daydreams, whereas the Fly Lady routine can take up to four hours because of some of those weekly and monthly tasks. 
All right, in my next Battle of the Cleaning Routines video, I'll be comparing domestic daydreams with Clean Mama, starting with the daily tasks. See you next time, domestic darlings.